guys welcome back okay so today I'm creating a look with my new ColourPop bye bye birdie shadow palette and as you can see the packaging for this palette is absolutely gorgeous with the beautiful purples corals and gold detailing now this palette is described as having rich purples sparkling neutrals and a splash of corals and I would definitely say that's a good description of it. It's very, very pretty. 12 shadows in four different textures. There's pressed powders, super shock shadow, glitters, as well as metallics. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, as you can see in this close up shot, it's perfect for fall with these beautiful, vibrant magenta shades and warm burgundy tones to combine with them. Now, when swatching this palette, I found that these shadows swatch beautifully. The metallics are nice and smooth. Even the pressed glitters swatched just so pretty. And the matte shadows, the pressed powders, seemed as though they were very nicely pigmented. And I didn't feel like I was getting any patchiness or that I would have any issues with creating my look today. Now I wasn't able to find a shelf life for this palette. So I'm assuming that might be because there are so many different textures within it. So let's go ahead and just jump into the look for today. I'm starting out with this first really pretty dark matte shade called Heron Chic. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush and placing that in my crease area. I want to leave my outer corner nice and dark, nicely pigmented just to add that shadow. But I am dragging this color throughout my crease. And as you can see, it is very nicely pigmented. I just slowly built it up. Didn't have to go into the palette too many times though to build it up to this pigmentation I love this color it's very very pretty and it applied very nicely in my crease next I'm going into the shade plumage which is another powder or matte shadow and this is described as a deep red brown I don't know if I would say it's that deep but it does come off as a nice reddish brown shade with hints of fuchsia and I'm just using this to blend out the edge of that darker shade and it works out very very nicely these colors blend together beautifully and they do complement each other very well next I'm going into this metallic shade which is called Finch and it's a deep magenta very very pretty with these matte colors it showed up very nicely I sprayed my brush just a little bit to place this shadow down and it's very, very nice. Went on very easily. Next, I'm going into the shade Nevermore. And this one is actually described as a soft coral red. Looking at it in a pan, you wouldn't think that. It kind of looks like a rose gold shimmer shade, but it is very, very pretty. And you can see that coral peeking through as you place it down on your lid. And it did blend into that first shade finch very nicely. I love the colors that they chose for this palette. I think they are very, very complementary to each other. Now on top of that, I did want to go into some of this pressed glitter. So I'm going into the shade Am Amuse Me, but I'm placing some of my NYX glitter glue on my lid prior to placing the glitter, just so that I don't have any fallout or any issues with glitter all over my face, since I already have my complexion done. This glitter is very, very pretty, you guys. It's described as a soft violet with multi-dimensional glitter and I would definitely say that's what it looks like on the lid it definitely takes a multi-chrome effect when you place it on your eye now I'm going back into the shade Heron Chic 
and just using that to smoke out my lower lash line. And for my liner today, I'm using my NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. And I'm just creating a nice bold wing for this eye look. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going in with my Milani Waterproof Liner and I'm just placing that on my lower lash line just to add to that smokiness. And for my inner corner pop, I'm going into the shade Gander. Very, very pretty shade. It's described as a champagne gold. I'm just spraying my brush a little bit and placing that in my inner corner. For my mascara today, I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara and I'm using this on my upper and lower lashes. And this is the completed look for today, you guys. I must say, I really, really like this palette. Although I definitely did not need this in my collection, as most of you know, it does create a beautiful fuchsia toned look. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The shadows performed beautifully. Even the glitters are absolutely gorgeous. I love having a palette that has so many different textures and colors in one place. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!